When it comes to cables, most of the time I look for stuff from Cable Matters. Not just USB-C cables, just any sort of cable. But after doing terrible things to this uh, cable, I'm not quite sure I trust Cable Matters anymore. Let's get into it. When it comes to USB-C cables, I test them by measuring the charging data rates. Then I've been at tens of thousands of times using the Master Bender 9000, and then I retest everything just to see what happened to the cable. Now spec-wise, this cable is above average. It's a USB 4 version 3 cable, so it's Thunderbolt 5 compatible and supports 240 watt charging. The cable says 80G, which is 80 gigabits per second which is this cable's theoretically max speed. I despise USB-C. Most of this stuff is just marketing fluff um, and it's just so bloody confusing. Physically, this cable is quite thick. This one doesn't have a lot of give. It's got a rubber finish and the cable connectors are very, very large. When it came to length, this cable, I purchased a 0.6 meter one. It came at 0.62 meters. Yay for more length. Now for charging performance right out of the box, I had no issues hitting all my testing protocols. Voltage drop was 0.54 volts, which is decent. And the cable resistance was around 0.17, which is below average. Now for data speeds, my test the rates were pretty average as well. No glaring differences. Now when it comes to durability, Cable Matters doesn't actually say how many times I could bend this cable. So I did the bare minimum, which is 10K plus 10% because I'm generous like that. So after 11,000 bends with this cable, nothing worked. Charging didn't work, data speeds didn't work. It was just dead. I don't know what else to say. Nope, there is something I could say. If a company doesn't tell you how many times it could bend a cable, uh, don't buy it because the general trend from what I've noticed after testing a buttload of cables is the ones that don't mention anything about bends they are the worst quality. So would I get this product if I was not a reviewer? I'm on a mission to figure out what the best cables are out there. If you plan on getting something, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not influencer. Don't care which one you get. You just make sure you use the links that I provide for the ones that you do want to get because no one's paying me to make this video. Thanks for watching.